Diego and come in here. You gotta see this new program. You're gonna actually love paying bills. Will I be using someone else's money? Watch. You're paying the electric company. You type in your amount, the money's automatically transferred from your account. No more signing checks or licking stamps. When I sign a check, I feel like I'm in control. That's passe. I've entered all your accounts into the hard drive. Now, check out the keyboard consumer. You can order clothes, books, or groceries. <laughs> you don't even have to leave the house. F2 for menu, F3 to confirm your order, and presto, everything's delivered to the door. Oh, that is fantastic. Hello? How much will you take to burn that program? Tony, it's for you. Scally, oh, Sarah, it's okay. Through. It's no big deal. It's all over. Honey, do me a favor. Go up to her room and get her a change of clothes. Your little girl today, huh? Mm hmm. Well, thanks, Al. I'll stop by on the way in. I gotta go. You know me, Tony. I don't believe in fancy. I don't stock your mahogany caskets with your mother of pearl handles for 25 grand. Let guys like Singletons go after the high-end trade. With me, it's no frills and volume, volume, volume. Al, I'd love to talk shop, but I'm a little pressed for... Yep. Amanda Hannington Wallace. Took delivery an hour ago. Our family makes the Kennedys look like paupers. What would she be doing in a place like... Oh, I'm sorry, Al. I, I didn't mean... Why do you think I called? She belongs at Singleton's, a class joint. Her husband brings her in here. He's a buttoned-up guy. I figure, hey, high society. Then he orders the cheapest box I got. You want to hear the kicker? Death certificate says natural. I start to bleed her, and it's got a brownish tinge. Toxins in the blood? Who signed off on it? Old man Larrabee. He's been the Wallace family doctor since the Middle Ages. Carter Wallace wants the funeral today. You can't have it. I'm gonna get a court order for removal of the body. He won't be happy. He's used to getting what he wants. So am I. Call you back. Is the commissioner available, Carter Wallace? Yes. You look just like you. I'll just see if Mr. Wallace is in. Where's the file on? Mr. Wallace. How do you do, Commissioner? Come in. Don't forget to call Calvin. I'd like to know why you're trying to delay my wife's funeral. I'd like to know how she really died. Can we keep this between us? No. Amanda committed suicide. Pills. What kind? I didn't ask her. Did she leave a note? I destroyed it. It was personal. It was evidence. Of what? No crime was committed. Falsifying a death certificate. And that might just be the beginning. I've enjoyed following your career. Oh, I occasionally like to see what's happening locally. I remember that quote of yours. I don't enforce the law. I regulate human behavior. I found it rather refreshing. What's your point, Mr. Wallace? Image is the point. You've cultivated yours with great care and intelligence. Our family values its image no less. Suicides happen in all kinds of families. They're common. We're not. Very well. I'll have the death certificate revised. 
After the autopsy. Under no circumstances will I allow an autopsy. You don't have the option. Commissioner, may I remind you that my wife's family is one of the oldest and most respected... I don't care if they met the Mayflower with a basket of fruit. Thank you for your time. Lovely hat collection. Removal from Amanda Wallace's body. Judge Fenwick's backlog. He probably won't sign until the morning. Arrogant, silver spoon, blue blood. But not necessarily guilty. He might do anything to keep a suicide out of the news, including make himself a murder suspect. Tony, I grew up with these people. Well, not these people. You know, Newport. They think they're above the law. They're usually right. The same Newport. Did you talk to Wallace's kids? He's got a son and a daughter. You know them? Well, just from the scouting reports. If you don't like the old man, wait till you talk to them. Great. Scally, this is Detective Madison. I'm sorry about your mother. Did you know her? Something you say. We've got some questions. Carter did it. He killed her. Carter Wallace, your father? You have no right to say that. Oh, stop defending him. It makes me sick. If you think he did it, why haven't you come forward? Because she has no proof. Strictly hearsay. He went to law school for three weeks. Carter killed my mother, and if he could, he'd get rid of us, too. But every family has its ups and downs. She liked pills, took them to sleep, wake up, gain weight, lose it. Carter opened up the capsules and filled them with something else. How do you know that's how we did it? Because that's the way she'd do it. That's how you'd do it, too, if you had the guts. I didn't hate her. First? He tried to pass it off as a heart attack. And he figured if he didn't get away with that, he'd admit it was suicide. Do you know she was going to divorce him? When? Soon. We were encouraging her. All the money's our mother's. Carter never really belonged in that house. He's your father. We didn't pick him. Dance. How do you like the next generation of America's leaders? I'm moving to Brazil. Is this a heart? 
Lucille, this is a police station. Don't jump on me. It's your harp. They just dropped it off. Who? Two fat guys. They said you'd be billed. I don't want to be billed. I don't want to harp. It's obviously a mistake, so find out who sent it and send it back. No problem. Yo. Want to see me? 38 million bucks. That's what Amanda Wallace's death is worth to her ever-loving hubby. <sighs> Nothing like a cash sale. According to the will and insurance policies, the kid split another 20 million. Well, big hunk of that'll probably go up Matthew's nose. He's been in out of rehab the last six years. What? These kids have every advantage. And instead of doing something positive with their lives... Well, just having money isn't enough. Without the right kind of guidance, parental control, wealth like that can actually be a burden. It's not half the burden of poverty. You waiting on a document from Judge Fenwick? Order of removal for Amanda Wallace. Let's go. Thanks. Sure. Being in the building isn't enough. You're going to attend that service. And do you know why? Because it is the decent thing to do. Because she was your mother. It's not like we feel anything. Behave as if you did. For the sake of the family. And for the others who are paying their respects. Who knows? You may even discover some actual emotion of your own. Come on. Excuse me, sir. This is a private ceremony, immediate family only. Who are you? Bartlett, sir. I'm employed by Mr. and Mrs. Wallace. Bartlett, please move out of the way. I have a court order to remove Amanda Wallace's body for autopsy. I'm afraid that's impossible. Oh, don't be afraid. Where is she? You cremated her? I told you I was going to get an order of removal. That was yesterday. I expected you to wait. How long? The family has a right. Oh, don't hand me that out. How much did he pay you? I'm a businessman, Tony. The customer is always right. May we get on with our service now? I have a valid warrant to search. Where's Mrs. Wallace's bedroom? Please wait here. I'll inform Mr. Wallace. Break down you. every door in the house until you find it. That won't be necessary. Doors are expensive these days. May I see the warrant? Upstairs, third door on the left. Get pictures and prints. I want everything labeled and boxed. Look in the bathroom for hair samples. Uh, this is a crime scene. Off limits to you until further notice. I won't stand for your treating Mr. Wallace like a criminal. I'm treating him like a suspect in a murder investigation. He bribed Dr. Larrabee into falsifying a death certificate. Without a corpse, that's a very difficult allegation to prove. May I get you some mineral water or something? I've got questions for you. I can ask him here or down at the precinct. At the precinct? I want a stenographer present and a... No, Hayes. I'll answer the commissioner's questions, just the two of us. Carter, I strongly advise that I be present. Commissioner? I had Amanda cremated because that's what she wanted. It was in her will. You've had it subpoenaed. How are you and Mrs. Wallace getting along? Given the nature of the relationship, well... Is that why she wanted a divorce? Yes, Amanda talked about divorce. On Tuesdays, on Wednesdays, it was suicide. Thursdays, she would beg to be committed. She was a severe depressive commissioner. She hated her life. Felt she had nothing. Caroline, where are you going? I asked you a question. We're meeting friends for dinner, Dad. It's Wednesday. 
The family has dinner together. Oh, please. Mother's dead. We can drop the charade now. We should be together, especially now. We should help each other through this. We're fine. Our family has never been comfortable showing emotion. Leave them out of this, please. They had nothing to do with Amanda's death. I promise you. Children will be staying for dinner. Bartlett, how long have you worked here? My family has been with Mrs. Wallace's family for three generations. Seems you have a lot of influence with these kids, more than their father does. I'm sure that's not so. They're very fond of him. Come on, Bartlett, who are you kidding? Underneath it all, they're fine children. It's clear that you care about them. I could be in serious danger, and I think you know the source of it. Please, help me protect Matthew and Caroline. Don't let them end up like their mother. I thought I knew how to get Bartlett to open up. He gave me nothing. Now well, you were asking him to violate something that's almost inbred. Butler employer privilege. But the kids, rotten as they are, the idea of protecting them from their father, I thought that would work. Oh. Mushu? Egg food. Well, maybe Wallace didn't kill her. Maybe it was suicide. We still don't have proof that it wasn't. Mugu. Of course, Bartlett could be keeping mum because he's trying to protect the kids because they're guilty. Or maybe Bartlett's guilty himself. The butler did it? Well. Mr. and Mrs. Wallace weren't exactly lovebirds. Maybe she and Bartlett were... He killed her when the love affair went sour? Mm-hmm. Or Wallace killed her when he found out about it. Suddenly, I miss Mom and Dad. Boss, you struck gold. Lab report from the funeral home where her body was prepped. Found some of her hairs. Poison residue. Mm. Could still be suicide. She had a whole drugstore and a medicine chest, but Fenacetin wasn't one of them. What about the bedroom? Anything from forensics? Right after the body was taken away, her husband had the staff clean the room top to bottom. I want surveillance on Wallace, Bartlett, and the kids. I'll take Wallace first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. mm, no. Buries his wife yesterday. Looks like he's bringing his girlfriend flowers today. Oh, the idle rich. I'm with Matthew at a hot dog joint on Pender and Fourth. It's a hell of a neighborhood. He making a drug buy? Mm -hmm. He looks like he could use a fix. Where's Caroline? She hasn't left the house. Mike Rose is with her. I'm sticking with Wallace. Stay in contact. Right. Jalen Barton, he's parked up the block.
not gonna believe what I'm seeing. Ditto. Looks like Matthew's trying to get Bartlett some money, but he won't take it. Stand with you? Your boss. Stay with Bartlett. Lopez is gonna take Wallace on the next tour. I want Collins every two hours. Got it. Rachel, don't even talk to me. They've been coming all day. I tell them that we didn't order anything. They said they can either bring it in or leave it out in the street to get stolen. All right, take it easy. Look at this. Three cases of vegetable seeds, a barber chair, religious vestments, 40 pounds of salami. And it's all from that keyboard consumer. That's where the harp came from. What harp? Check this out. It's the visible woman. Wait till I show my friends. David, did you order all this stuff? No way, Dad. Did you? You're the expert. Find out what's going on here. I'm leaving a message for the sysop. The what? System operator. Don't worry. It'll be OK. What's the matter? I can't tell how this stuff got ordered, but they won't be sending us anything else. Well, how could you be sure? Because we can't pay for it. They took the money for all this stuff out of your accounts. Now there's nothing left. Nothing? As in no money in any account? As in zero. This is insane. This can't be happening. Scally. Put him through. This is Richard Bartlett. I'm sorry to bother you at home. I've been thinking about what you said. I need to talk to you. I'm listening. In person. Meet me at the precinct. I'm leaving now. Fine. I have something for you. Why? What are you? Break the area up into a grid and comb every inch. Use as many men as it takes. Whatever Bartlett was bringing me was evidence worth killing for. It's here somewhere. Where was he? He was at the film revival on Cloverdale. Dial M for murder. Bartlett knew who killed Amanda. You mean he knew it was Wallace? Until yesterday, I would have bet the house on it. But the way he cried over a crypt, People cry for a lot of reasons. Where are the kids? Club Noir. They left an hour before the bomb went off. They've been there all night. Let's talk, Matthew. Now. Don't worry, she'll be back. You're the only one in the club she hasn't slept with. I have some bad news for you. Bartlett is dead. We know. Yeah, Dad called to tell us. And you stayed here dancing? If we stopped, would that bring him back? Why am I looking at you? Oh, because a man was blown up at your front door. And do you think we did it? If you don't know it was Carter by now, how many more people does he have to kill before you put him away? Maybe they're waiting until he kills us. 
Carter probably paid them off. That's enough. When was the last time you saw Bartlett? Uh, a couple days ago. Where? Uh, the house he was shooting. You saw him yesterday. No, I just hum at the hot dog stand on Pender. You tried to shove an envelope of cash on him. What was the payoff about? What was it for? Leave him alone. We don't have to tell you anything. I was trying to pay him back. I borrowed 800 bucks from him. Why? My allowance wasn't. Uh, I needed more money. And Mother wouldn't give it to me. For Coke? Gee, you're sharp. I, I told him it was for fixing up the car. He cracked up another Porsche. Shut up. But I needed, um, you know, I've been under a lot of stress lately. So you used the money to score. And I tried to pay him back, but he wouldn't take it. You know, he said he didn't want to have anything to do with the drugs. That's a very touching story. But only half of it is true. <laughs> what do you mean? It's the truth. You needed money for your habit. And mommy said no. So you killed her for the 20 million and a lifetime supply. I didn't kill my... And Bartlett knew about it. And when he refused to take your payoff, you killed him, too. I wouldn't... Bartlett was the only... He was the only... Oh, would you for once try and grow up? <laughs> Carter killed him and our mother. We pay your salary. Why don't you do something about it? <laughs> Baby. We're out of here. Unless you're going to arrest us. Not yet. Keep tabs on him. Call me a softie, but uh, those tears seem real to me. People cry for a lot of reasons. I've been on the phone with the bank all morning, trying to tell them this is all a big mistake. Who'd you talk to? No one. You just said you... I talked to a machine. You push numbers so it knows what your problem is, except that it doesn't have a number for our problem. So finally, I get through to the bank president, actually to his voicemail, and I told him that they have to stop these deliveries and give us our money back. Did you tell him you're the commissioner's wife? I told him that I am a grown woman, a customer of his bank whose financial history is as solid as a rock. Then I told him that I'm the commissioner's wife. That'll work. When do we tee off? I'm teed off already. Call the president of Eastbridge National Bank and tell him I'm on my way. Look, I don't know how this happened, and I don't care. The bank should never have given this... this keyboard consumer our money. I know. We're being robbed. Only there's no one to arrest because a machine is doing it. I know, I know. Tony, can I call you Tony? Sure. Well, Tony, I know exactly what you need. Enhanced customer privilege. Do you know what that is? Tell me. Well, ECP is a program where we take your old credit limit and we throw it out. We just throw it away and we raise it to a level that more accurately reflects your current purchasing profile. That sounds great. I can't give you ECP, Tony, and you know why? Because your accounts are empty. That's what I've been trying to tell you. We're talking about a computer error here. I know. I know. Look, we do have swing loans at very attractive rates just to tide you over. That's the best you can do. I can't give you a swing loan, Tony. I, mean, I want to give it to you, but I can't give it to you. You have no money. Sometimes I hate my job. What am I supposed to do? Take out a second mortgage? With your account profile? <laughs> I admire your ability to joke at a time like this. Do you know who I am? You're the police commissioner. Doesn't that mean anything? I suppose you get out of parking tickets. Where are we 
got? Fragments of a bottle that contained phenacetin. They were found 100 feet from Bartlett's car. That's the stuff that killed the man the Wallace. There's traces of it on the glass, but no pieces big enough to yield a print. Bartlett not only knew who killed her, he was bringing us the weapon. We were digging around in the pieces of Bartlett's car, digging around in the pieces of Bartlett. And Wallace was looking down from his ivory tower just as cool as... Time to make him sweat. Have a seat, Commissioner. We won't be interrupted. Since word of your investigation has become public, my fellow members feel that I am no longer a desirable dining companion. Something about being a murder suspect. I came pretty close to arresting your son this morning. Matthew has had a lot of problems in the past. His drug use has been very difficult on all of us, but he is on the road to recovery. And getting arrested for the murder of his mother and Bartlett. And I'm very close to arresting you as an accessory after the fact. Another martini, please. I think you knew he killed Amanda. Maybe with Caroline's help, maybe alone. My children are innocent of murder. Like Caroline said, let's drop the charade. You cremated your wife's body to cover up your children's crime. Do you read a lot of paperbacks? I understand it may be difficult for you to accept the fact that the children you raised could have done the things that Caroline and Matthew did. But you've made yourself a party to them. And when they go away, you'll go. Thank you, Philip. Mr. Wallace, your children are... My children! What my children are. They are vacuous. Totally self-absorbed, devoid of any sense of responsibility. And it's my fault. You and I both know that children don't turn out like that on their own. Amanda didn't know how to be a parent, and I was too busy pretending to be somebody that I'm not. My real name is Wallachek, from Queens. My father was a plumber. In the time that I was old enough to reason, I knew that that was no way to live. And since I wasn't born of money, I decided to marry into it. The great Gatsby in real life. Did your wife know? First, it didn't matter. I think we were even in love. But as time went on, my past became her weapon. She never let me forget where I came from, and the children followed her lead. She was ice to all of us. She was convinced that I was cheating on her, and I wasn't. She had to know where I was at all times. She even had intercoms installed in all the rooms. I couldn't have any idea what it's like to live like that. You're right. I envy you, Commissioner. You know who you are. Chuck Wallenchick knew. He had a chance at being a decent human being, and he surely would have been a better father. Thank you, Edwin. I may have started with nothing, but I have something now. And I will use all the money and the power at my disposal to protect my children. I'm sorry I have to leave now. Please feel free to order anything that you like.
Sometimes a man isn't secure even in his own home. Some are, some aren't. Repeated warnings have gone unheeded. If your irresponsible behavior doesn't change by the end of this year, you will be left to fend for yourself. Your wife wrote this to Caroline. She was going to cut her out of her will. No. That would never have happened. Caroline's behavior improved dramatically. Then why the rush to get rid of it? Well, I was just disposing of some family papers that were no longer... This is Caroline's motive. You're trying to destroy the evidence of it. Yeah, that's right. I failed them all their lives, but I'm not going to fail them again. You're under arrest. Call your buddy Hayes and have him meet us at the station. Where's your warrant, Commissioner? The previous one expired two days ago. You don't even have a right to be on my property. May I have those, please? Isn't the Fourth Amendment a wonderful thing? It was like I was a rookie. Where all of a sudden I went brain dead. I'm tailing Wallace home from his club. I know he's up to something. My adrenaline's pumping. I didn't even think about the warrant. I may have blown the whole case. Wallace said he was going to do everything to protect them. He's making good on that. Which one is he protecting? Hmm. He may not even know. So, you lost the letter. Were you just going to sit here and mope? That's my preliminary plan. Oh. Well, when you want to nail the little creeps, let me know. That's it? That's the support I get? Boy, you think you developed a team atmosphere, all for one, one for all. You've got the team. We just need a coach. You can still make a case, Tony. How? I have no evidence against Caroline and Matthew. But they don't know that. Didn't you once tell me the best evidence is a guilty man's fear of being caught? Did I? I think you did. God, I'm good. Father did kill your mother. Really? Are you sure? I know where the proof is. In Bartlett's apartment. He found the bottle of poison that was used to kill your mother. But he was killed before he could give it to me. Why'd you wait until now to tell us? I just found out. Bartlett sent me a letter. He knew there was a chance something might happen to him. Why don't you go get it? I won't have a warrant until tomorrow morning. If I go in without it, the evidence will be inadmissible in court. And how will this bottle prove who killed our mother? It has the killer's fingerprints on it. So what should we do? My advice? Leave the house. Stay at a friend's until this thing is over. I could have signed an officer to protect you and... No. We don't need that. I can't force you. But at least stay away from your father in Bartlett's apartment. <sighs> Matthew, better hurry up and get here. My bladder's about to burst. You think it's Matthew? Don't you? Caroline's got the guts to have pulled it off. He's weak. I agree, but he's desperate. It's him. No way. Odds. Ten to one on a buck.
the intercoms just like your wife did. Looking for this? I drove 10 miles and threw that in the lake. Not deep enough. Bartlett must have followed you. You killed your wife because she was going to divorce you? Well, after 25 years, I wasn't going to wind up with just a couple of million. And you knew you were being tailed. The crying scene at the crypt, the letter to Caroline, all that was staged for my benefit? No, for mine. You tried to pin two murders on your own children. They tried to pin them on me. You were guilty. Is that relevant? We're family. Get Mr. Wallachek out of here. I searched here once already. Where did he hide it? He didn't. But you said enough. Well done, Commissioner. I guess that makes the better push. Yeah, look at it this way. The trap worked. But I didn't set it to catch him. I won't tell if you don't. About time. You're going to inherit everything. That's a fortune that most people can't even imagine. No lectures on the responsibility of wealth, okay? You're out of your element. It's your money. You can do what you want. I just thought that maybe you'd like to do something that Bartlett would be proud of. Not tonight. Matthew. Not tonight. You gotta let me keep something. I did. You already went through 40 pounds of salami. You know, honey, the keyboard consumer people don't know what went wrong, but they swear it can't ever happen again. That's right, because I'm throwing the computer out the window. We got along fine for years with a calculator, a checkbook, and a real mall down the street, which is looking better and better every day. Hmm, David uses it for school. We have to keep up with the times, right? Well, I, I suppose the odds of it happening again have got to be a million to one. At least. All right. 